Good morning, family, and welcome or welcome back to Lin Lin. Thank you guys so much for coming to check out the video. I am about to head into Fred Meyer this morning. Um, I haven't done one of these little videos in a while, which is where I go to Fred Meyer's and I browse the clearance section and I kind of see what they have in there. Usually I come away with some really, really good stuff. I've got good clearance items from the meat department as well as the clearance aisle here in Fred Meyer. Really, you never know what you're gonna get in here. There's always something different. I've come across so many things that I've never seen before, um, that I've never would have thought to use. And because they are on clearance, I decided to give them a try. So we are going in here with a $10 budget this morning. I don't wanna go over $10. I just wanna see what I can get. So let's go in here and let's check out the clearance section in Fred Meyers and see what we can get, y'all. Let's go. They do have their cherries in here for $3.99. Um, I know they are cheaper at like Walmart or Winko, so I'm gonna pass on those. Um, my family really hasn't been eating too much of the raspberries. While I'm in here, I'm gonna check and see if they have a seeded watermelon because I have been having the hardest time finding one lately. These are seedless, that's $5.99. They do have one. $9.99 for the seeded watermelon. I'm gonna grab one today because I have been having the hardest time finding one lately. They have been all out of them. This one right here looks really good, so I'm gonna grab this one. So this is out of my budget that I came in here to spend, but that's okay, we're gonna get this anyway. Okay, y'all, so I did not come in here with intentions of getting a watermelon, but because I've been having such a hard time finding a seeded one lately, I'm gonna grab it. It is $10, $9.99, so I'm already at the budget that I plan to come in here and spend. So y'all, I actually don't think they have anything over in the meat section today. Usually it would be right here where it says last chance, but it looks like they don't have anything or they may have not put it out yet. I did get here right when the store opened. So it could be that they just haven't put it out. I do see these lobster cakes right here. These are $3.31, but I've had those before and I didn't really care for them. So I'm gonna pass on those today. They do have all these little shrimp kits right here. That's $5, some Atlantic salmon um, with the cedar plank, that's $12. And then just some regular salmon on planks seven ten dollars some cod some kicking crab salad that sounds good this is five dollars and it says kicking crab salad i'm guessing they made that in the deli a while back one of my subscribers had said something about the last chance in the frozen aisle they really never have too much um, of a discount, but it's pretty much just what you see right now. They have the Eggo pancakes for $3.49, the Sunday cones $5.49 for an eight pack. Says they're originally $6.99, so there's not much of a price difference over here. And then these are Crispy Wings Caribbean style. That sounds good. And then some turkey meatballs down there, Italian meatballs, and those are $9.99 as well. So I usually don't find anything right there. Um, that's worth buying but I do like to come over here and look just because like I said a, sus a subscriber suggested that section to me and so I like to check it when I do come okay I'm coming up on the clearance section from here I don't see too much but we're gonna get closer and see what we can see so this is the clearance section today. I don't see a whole lot, but I'm just gonna look through here and see what we can see. So first off, I see these little mini muffins here. These are blueberry muffins. These are the Kroger brand mini muffins. These are blueberry. Look, it says my favorite, no high fructose corn syrup. I'm gonna grab these. These are only $1.50. They were originally $2.99 raw almonds these are 450 they were originally 
huh it doesn't say the original price on these but i have a ton of almonds that i've pretty much had like from food banks in the past so i am good on almonds they've got some spicy marinara sauce here this is some sweet heat rub pit boss okay this is 344 that sounds like that would be a good seasoning though actually but i don't need any seasoning we got some monk fruit this is probably not on clearance it might just be over here i've never tried monk fruit i've heard it's really good as a um organic sweetener as you can see that's what it says there i've heard it's really good but i've never used it the 20 stand and stuff taco shells these are 225 no, i think i might grab these right here that's not bad for these taco shells especially these ones are much better because they stand up although i don't eat ground beef i could use these to make chicken tacos so 225 for these that's not a bad deal i'm gonna grab these as well they have a few more of those down here they're all 225 this right here is coffee this is a dark roast with chocolate hints of chocolate and cherry oh that sounds good actually these are pods coffee pods these are 16 dollars. they have a couple of those down there they still have a bunch of these paper straws they've had these a few times that i've come in here these are a dollar and 12 cents and these are all christmas decorations though there's this little glade what is this exactly Oh, this comes with a spray a refill two AA batteries and an automatic spray unit okay so this is the whole kit and this is only $7.27 and it was originally $13.99 so that's a good deal for that you got these right here these are chum fruit bites these are I'm trying to see if these are for kids or what these are for are these for I've never heard of these. These are plant-based, no sugar added, 100% fruit. And these are $2.26. A pack of Little Swimmers here, $6.37. This is another one, Chum Fruit Bites. These are the strawberry ones. These are $2.53. Tampons, $3.07. Is some Living Cereal Rich. Okay, I've never heard of this before. Show us how you live cereal rich. Okay, this is birthday cake loaded. Never heard of this cereal. It says it has vanilla cream filling. That sounds super, super sweet. This is $2.70. All laundry packs in here for $6.50. That's not bad for that. They were originally $12.99. There's some Huggies diapers up here. There's also some pull-ups. These are $18.55. The diapers are $14.49. Right here, you got some chopped pecans. These are $4.63. This is what I really want to see. I've been buying these because I get sick of washing dishes. These are $1.32, were $2.93. And these are the compartment ones. I'm going to get a couple of these ones because that's a good deal. $1.32 for 20 plates. And they have a few of them up here. They've also got some Chick-fil-A sauce. These are $1.80. I wish I ate these that much. I wish I had something to use them for. My kids really don't eat Chick-fil-A. And I've had it a handful of times. Um, since we've been living here in Oregon, they're not really close to us. So we haven't really went to a Chick-fil-A out here. But $1.80 for their sauce. And it's originally $3.99 in here. Then you got some SpaghettiOs Red Hot. Frank's Red Hot. Okay, I've never seen that. These are $0.47. Cents. It's a bunch of these, $0.47. Cents. I don't think my kids would like those, though down here you got some more seasonings these are oh these are like for cookies these are thin mint seasoning blend that is different i've never heard of that these are two dollars and two cents this one right here is girl scout s'mores seasoning two dollars and two cents okay so these are these are different would you guys try these i don't think i don't even know what to put something like this on it says great for baking ice cream and more Okay, so they have the Thin Mint one, 
They have the s'mores blend. And actually that's all I see. The rest is like cake icing and stuff like that. Let's see. So over here in the bread section, they have some, what are these? These are some little rolls. These are $1.17. There's some bread here, some Kaiser rolls, $2.25. Some pretzel bread, pretzel sliders, those are $2.29. Sliced bread here for $2.70. And then they have the mini croissants, which went up, because usually they're like $2. I bought them a couple times, but it doesn't say the original price, but usually they're only $2. Right now they're $2.84. Have you guys tried these before? These are dill pickle pretzel twists. Those are interesting. They also have the spicy honey mustard ones up there. I've tried these dots pretzel things right here before. Um, I didn't care for them. The kids ate them, but I think they had the cinnamon sugar ones. And then they've also had the honey mustard ones. Right now they have Rotel in here, two for three. Huh. $1.50 each. I'm trying to think if it's, at, if it's cheaper at Winko or what. I don't know, and I need Rotel, but I don't know what I'm gonna use it for just yet. So I think I'm gonna pass on it right now, but right now they do have Rotel in here, two for $3. I'm about to head to the register, guys. I didn't get much out of here. I was thinking that I would find more in the um, clearance section than what I did. Um, I guess I came on a day where it wasn't too stocked, but um, I got what I got, and I did get some, some foam plates here, $1.32 a piece for these. I got two of those. I got some standing stuffed taco shells, $2.25. And then I got these mini muffins here for $1.50. And then I got my watermelon down there. I'm back in the car. So I went in there and I found a seeded watermelon. I have been looking for one for a while now. Um, Fred Meyer has been the only place that I've been able to find one at. But for some reason, I've gone in a couple times and I haven't found one. So because I seen it, I had to get it. So that was my $10 right there that I planned to go in there and spend. So I did go over, I spent exactly, what did I spend? I spent $16.38. So technically the items from the clearance section were only $6.38, $6 and some change. They might not have had everything out just yet. I didn't see anything in the meat department, which I'm not mad about that. I did just wanna kinda of check and see, but I was able to find the things that I found. I found some foam plates, paper plates, whatever, um, which I need because I'm sick of washing dishes. My kids are sick of washing dishes and because everyone is home, because it's summertime, those definitely come in handy. So I got those, I got some little muffins, and then I also got some taco shells that I'll probably use to make chicken tacos. And um, yeah, and that is the end of the video, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video, all right? Bye.